Hey guys, Tucker here from Electric Cycle Rider. You know it, you love it. It's the 2019 Suron X and I want to run you through my five best modifications for this bike. All right, the first thing that you need to upgrade on this bike are the tires. Tires are super important and the ones that come on the bike are not my favorites. So I would go in and put your favorite tires on them. I have a bunch that I recommend and I'm testing a lot. So I'm running Pirelli Scorpions on here right now, which are awesome. The thing is, is you really have to run front tire on the rear because they don't really make a rear 19 that's narrow enough for this bike. So just keep that in mind when you're picking out a tire. I'm gonna put a bunch of tires in the description of this video that work with this bike. Depending on the type of terrain that you're riding, you need to put new tires on it. All right, so since I'm talking about the tires, my next modification, which is kind of a combo, is the wheels. I upgraded these wheels. I had Wicked Wheel Works out of Maine, a gentleman by the name of Josh Noel. He built me these wheels. It's a 21 inch up front and a 19 in the rear. And the 19 in the rear is a 1.6. So it's a little bit wider than the 1.4 that comes on the stock Suron. The biggest difference in the wheels though is the quality. These are pro wheel rims and Sapem spokes, which are super high end. I was bending spokes and I was ultimately getting my rear wheel out of true a lot when I was riding. It just couldn't handle the abuse. So these upgraded wheels are huge for riding off road. And I will say that if you're not riding a lot off road, you probably don't need to worry so much about running a 21 inch wheel up front. You can probably get away with keeping the stock 19 front and rear, but the 21 inch wheel rolls over things a lot easier. It gives you a lot more tire options for the front. It's just the standard dirt bike combo, a 21 inch front and a 19 or an 18 in the rear. I'll put a link in the description on how you can contact Josh. It's a pretty niche market to build these wheels because of the specific hubs that the Suron uses. You can't just go on and buy a, a full motocross wheel. It's also really hard to find a 19 by 1.6 for the rear. It's not a traditional size and Josh is the man to contact for those. All right, so modification number two is handlebars. I made a whole video just about these specific bars because it is such a big upgrade for this bike. They're the Pro Taper 810 handlebar and they've got a three inch rise on them, which is huge. If you've ridden this bike, you know that it feels really cramped. Uh, if you wanna hear more about these bars, check out that video on my channel, but these bars are a big difference. I would highly recommend it being one of the first things that you do. And when you're when you're changing out the bars, you know, just put some new grips on it. I put these Pro Taper pillow top grips on and I like these just because this bike's a little rough. It takes a little bit of the hit out. Otherwise, I usually run thinner grips, but these are a little bit softer and I like that for this bike. All right, while I'm up at the controls, the number three modification is the XC Gear Hammerhead 360 stem. I've been testing this stem and it is really awesome to take out little hits here and there. It has elastomers that flex in 360 degrees. So on X, Y, and Z axes, this stem will have a little bit of a give to it. And that helps to soak up a lot of those sharp hits. Uh, that you experience on this bike. And as a result of it being mountain bike suspension, I'll take any relief I can get. The stem is awesome for this bike. So check them out, that's XC Gear. I'll also put a link to that in the description. All right guys, I had some technical difficulties with the camera. So if this shot looks a little bit different than the previous bit of the video, it's because it's a new shot. But needless to say, we're back up and running. Number four modification for this bike is the brakes. I still have the stock brakes on this bike, but I have upgraded the brake pads to Shimano brake pads. They have better stopping power. 
they're better quality so they're going to last longer and it's a cheap and easy upgrade to this bike just to increase your stopping power so highly recommend that i still am running the stock brakes on this bike but if i had the means i would recommend just upgrading the entire brake kit altogether there's plenty of options out there they're mountain bike brakes and mountain bike brakes have come a long way you can get some really awesome four piston brakes for this bike if you don't have the means to upgrade the brakes right now the best thing you can do is just put new brake pads in the bike so last but not least is the skid plate this bike doesn't have a ton of ground clearance to begin with and if you're riding any terrain that has a lot of rocks or logs or anything that you're endangering scraping or hitting the bottom of the bike, I would highly recommend upgrading your skid plate. The stock one that comes on the bike is pretty thin and flimsy and I dented mine really easily. It surrounds the electric motor so it's in kind of a vulnerable position to begin with and you really want to protect that. So this option from LunaCycle is made out of stainless steel. It's a lot thicker material and more durable. So great upgrade there to protect your motor. There are a lot of upgrades that you can do to the Suron X, but these are the first five that I would recommend starting with. If you have any upgrades or modifications that you recommend, I would love to hear about them. And if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, please leave me a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.